really um, cozy atmosphere in here. Let's see what they've got. Some good options here. Are right, there specialty cocktails? Beer and an alcoholic beverage. What do they have for kids? Cheeseburger, grilled cheese, beef kebab. So we're looking, oh, so we're, we're dining at the Wade tonight, if you couldn't tell. We're doing the after hours party, so we wanted to book somewhere close, but we can easily walk over to Magic Kingdom and walk back for the party. So, um, the Wade just seemed like a simple choice. It's been a long time since we've been here, and we weren't that thrilled with it the first time, so I'm excited to give it another chance. Um, we were just looking at the candles on the table. There's candles everywhere. Ours. Does not have a candle in it, so very symbolic of our life. <laughs> our candle is not lit. Actually, there's no candle at all. So now starts a little bit of the Disney depression because we only have what? Today is Saturday. We only have tomorrow, and then we leave super early Monday morning. So now we start like assessing how this week has been, or our vacation has been, things we would do differently, things that worked out really well for us, um, so we can start going into planning mode. So probably Monday night we get home, we'll kind of reassess our November trip and look at our dining and look at kind of what our, our itinerary is. We do have that Christmas party book though, so we have to look at that, but... Um, that kind of gives us something to do too until then, but it kind of helps get over those Disney blues because those are those are for real. Comment below what you guys do to get rid of your Disney blues. It's a struggle. But for now we're gonna enjoy some sangria. Drink up daddy. I don't want a straw. <laughs> I just took it out. I don't like to drink mine with a straw. How's your bread, buddy? Is it amazing? Look at that bread and butter. Tell me, take a bite and tell me if you like it. That butter looked pretty uh, spreadable. Oh yeah, take the crust off because it's braces. Get a close up view of the bite. You look fancy. How is it? Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs to the side. Oh, two thumbs up. Nice. And then we should also get some more Pokemon cards. No, no more Pokemon. Did you like all your pin trading? Okay. Whoops. I think next trip we should do Kid Pig Cop. I know. I thought we were going to do that this time. Too hot. Yeah. But I think we should do Kid Cop. You go to every country and they write something in a little in their own country and you put it in a little thing. You guys will like that. Uh, yeah. It's like a little table that you can do kids craft or kids coloring for each country. Does that sound fun? Lots of like Ziploc. Uh, zip <laughs> I know. I saw that. Yeah. What did you like best about this trip, buddy? Like Slinky Dog, like Toy Story Land, seeing that for the first time. Fantastic. All of our great dinners. It is hard. Everything's so amazing, huh? It's so hard. What is this? Bacon and egg. Oh, that looks good. I like it. What is the what is the meat? Oh, okay. Pork belly and grits, right? With egg on it. Eat it and tell me what you think. It's for me too? Okay. He says, everyone says it's amazing. You like pork belly though, don't you? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Alright. Bacon and eggs, pass the test, my husband knows. 
good food when it comes to that. So he says it's good, then I take his word for it. It's good. All right, so we got, let's see if Focus is. Grilled beef tenderloin with asparagus. Yes, I'm filming the food. Where's your food? It's coming, honey. He said he's coming right out with it. You got a cheeseburger. <laughs> Daddy got the same ranch. thing as me. Yes, ranch. There you go. There's your food, buddy. Look. Oh, this is grilled beef kebab. Yummy. Does that look good? The steak is cooked absolutely perfect. It's medium rare. It is medium rare. It's delicious. So Mike was saying that this steak actually tastes just as good as the one at Brown Derby, but it's like half of the cost. The California really is better than this, I know. <laughs> we are eating the California bread. I know. Stop! So if that tells you anything, maybe try the way first. So we're pretty much almost done with our meal, and I thought the tenderloin was amazing. It's cooked to perfection. It's really good. But the asparagus was really good too, but the potatoes were really salty and very, um, very, very heavy. Uh, very heavy, yeah. So Mike liked them, but I don't know if me and mine were seasoned a little differently. Um, I didn't think they were very good, so. What did you think of your cheeseburger and your french fries? It was so good. It was good? All right, well you heard it here. Noah loved his meal. Mine was, the majority of it was good. A cheeseburger. How was yours? Oh, you almost ate almost all yours. Yummy. And Mike finishes. I think they all mine. Delicious? I think they all mine. Kiss me, camera. Michael got another compliment on his shirt. People love it. So overall, we thought it was a pretty good meal, actually, for good value for what you're getting. Um, easy to get in and out. Um, the kids really enjoyed their meals, right? Did you have a good meal? Yeah? You can see it. Um, so if you're in the contemporary or around the area, um, I'd definitely um, suggest that you go ahead and get an um, ADR for it, or we actually got it today, so sometimes you don't even need an ADR. You can do a last minute booking to be able to get into the restaurant, um, but I definitely encourage you to give it a try. So go ahead and comment below if you've eaten at the Wave before and what you guys thought about it. And if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel. We're so new, so we love all of our subscribers. And then make sure to hit the bell notification so you get notified every Thursday. Oh, wow. So we'll see you next time. For now, go live your discos. Bye.